It is early afternoon and I just finished uploading the video from the other day. It was supposed to be uploaded last night, but I wasn't feeling great and I just kind of wanted to lay down and relax. So that's what I did. Um, but that's now up on the YouTubes and I am going to eat some lunch. Lindsay's going to be home in a little bit. She was at work this morning. And Bo and I have just been kind of relaxing and hanging out, doing the video. Are we doing the video, Bo? You got your frisbee. You love that frisbee, don't you? I was telling him I need an explanation for why he just sat on me and shoved his elbow into my gut, and that I would prefer it in Times New Roman twelve point font double space. How do you feel about that? Yeah. Bo has tucked himself in bed. He's tired, boy. Got the electric blanket on the bed. Because it's nice and warm. And it feels good on my back. Lindsay with the laundry. Just for a few days. Yeah, that sounds how it goes around here. Mostly my clothes. Always. Always mostly your clothes. Sometimes Bo has clothes in there. That really awesome camouflage sweater has to get washed every once in a while. Otherwise it smells like dog. It's my pajama shirt. <laughs> and then your non pajama shirt? Yeah. This is my Jeff Club shirt from last year. You know, back when I was in charge of that club. Yeah. Back when you're El Presidente. Yeah. I was El Presidente. Bo's giving us a side eye over here. He does that a lot. He's a crazy teenager. Is he a cranky teenager? Yeah, he's a Isn't he something like 28 in dog years? He never got over being a teenager, apparently. Which is someone's fault. Oh yeah, whose fault might that be? No, you've been raising him for the last four years. Yeah. You're saying it's my fault he's a cranky teenager? Yeah. Because <laughs> you're a cranky teenager. Wow. Sometimes. Sometimes you get a little grumpy. Is that true, Bill? Should we you band together? It's true. Do we need to band together? Those cranky teenagers. Are you going to explain what's going on here? Me and Bo have banded together. Why? As grumpy teenagers. Yeah, I don't think Bo agrees anymore. I think he's leaving you. Yeah, are you going to take my spot on the bed? <laughs> he wants to sleep with Mama. He likes Mama. That's right. You come to me, Bo. <laughs> The dog loves me. He's banded here. together with me. He doesn't think it's right for us to just separate like that, did he, Bo? No. Yep, it's documented. <laughs> Bo just left her to come get in bed with me. Because you wanted to sleep in bed. No. It's because he likes it. Sleep over here, I guess. It's because he thinks you're behaving naughtily. Naughtily? Naughtily. Stop it. Just licked you in the mouth. Yeah, he did. Oh, there's Kelsey in her bed. She's tucking herself in. She's going to sleep. Here's Bo taking up both mine and her spot on the big bed, the people bed. Because this is how Bo does things. Sleep sideways. Yep. 
Always. Always sideways, just like that. Oh, now he's gonna take up the whole bed because I got up. You can come join me in the dog bed. Me? Yeah. <laughs> this, this is how this is gonna end, both of us in the dog bed? It is, put both of us in the dog bed, apparently. I'm not giving you the... I refuse. No. Alright, Bo. Bo, go to your pillow. Bo, go to your pillow. Alright, let's say goodnight to Bo. Good night, buddy. You lay down? Yeah. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Just your book club. Mm -hmm. Getting all tucked in. Yeah, this is what Lindsay is doing. We're leaving around like 7 ish. A little before 7. Yeah, a little bit before 7. We are going, both going to Beaufort in the morning. Turn it all the way up. Five forty? Oh uh, well, I guess we don't have. We don't have to get a shower, do you? This gives it time to go off a little bit, though. So we actually get up in time to like leave, right? Well, it's 543. Because <laughs> 543 is so much better than 540. I didn't say that. <sighs> oh, now Bo is joining us on the bed. He got out of his comfy puppy bed. And is laying across the foot. All the way across the foot of the bed. We're both going to Beaufort in the morning because Lindsay has a dentist and an eye doctor appointment. And we're going to take Bo. And we're going to let him run around a little bit. And we're maybe going to go to the beach. No, well, I mean, we're definitely going to the beach. Sherlock? Yeah. I mean, it's good. I just, it's really hard to, you know, keep up with a show that only comes on once every year. Or two. I'm sorry, I just hate you with my glasses. It kind of bumps them off my face. It's very hard to like stay into and like like a show. I mean, I really like Sherlock. Especially when there's only three episodes. I mean, I say that, but... I always just binge watch them on Netflix. Yeah. I still manage to like Orange is New Black. And like Kimmy Schmidt and stuff. And they only come out once a year. But at least it's like set in stone, you know. It's every year on whatever day. Right. Whereas the last time Sherlock came out was three years ago. I was still in high school. My friend from Burt's came over and watched it with me. So, 2014. It was January 2014, the last time we had an episode of Sherlock. So, I think it's understandable that people aren't all about it. At least I'm not all about it. But we started watching a series of unfortunate events. <laughs> I really like it. I never read the books, though. I didn't either. But I really like it. It's very interesting. It is very interesting. It was nothing like I thought it was good. Not that I had too many expectations. I just knew Neil Patrick Harris. I just knew it looked interesting. And they've done it really well. I mean, like, the casting's good. And the yeah. script's good. It's really surprised to see. The visual stuff is all good. Patrick Warburton. Yeah. Kobe Smothers. It's weird because I only know him as Kronk. <laughs> so, like, I so hear like, his you voice. You only know him from Disney movies? Yeah, I hear his voice and I'm like, oh, Kronk. Yeah, but, like, the most notable Kronk, yeah. And then, like, I see his face and I'm like, what? You're a person? <laughs> like, <laughs> a body and stuff? Like, a real person actually talks like that? That's strange. But I was like, at the end of the first episode, I was really surprised to see Kobe Smulders. I had no idea that she was in there. And it took me a second, because, like, it was a very quick scene. And I was just like, wait a minute. 
I have to look it up just to double check because yeah. But I wonder I wonder what her character's gonna be because usually she plays like pretty badass characters. They seem badass. She plays their mom. Right. Like Baudelaire's mom. And they Mother. seem badass because they have they're in some kind of like secret society. I don't know. I don't know. And Joan Cusack's in it. Yeah. She you really excited about that. She looks like a professor I really like at Bart. So yeah, of course I was really excited. I like Joan Cusack. Yeah, she's really funny. She's funny. She's adorable. And of course the Pretty Little Liars marathon is continuing. It's fun to watch it. It's so it's a good show. It's very interesting. It's very easy to get hooked into over and over again. <laughs> and the rest of the final season doesn't start until April. Oh my god, Switch to Birth is supposed to start this month. It's the last like dinner. Babes of the internet. You need the internet? Yeah. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> And make other people watch it. And make other people watch it. <sighs> That's what I do when I like YouTube videos. When I really like them, when I think they're really good, funny, I usually share them with lots of people. So you can share them with lots of people. So like, comment, subscribe, share, and check out other videos. Good night, friends.